Hi there and welcome to Flip My Bike. My name is Milo and I'm Martin and today we're gonna review our list of top three bikes you should consider if you're looking for a mountain bike for Christmas either for yourself or for someone you know. And I believe I've got much much better bikes uh, prepared for you guys than Martin has so I'll let him start first. Right, so my first on the list would be a GT Aggressa. Either if you go and get a brand new one or a second hand, they're durable, comfortable and affordable. So you definitely should consider going and get yourself one. They're equipped with 27.5 inch wheels or 26 depending on the age. Also we got a hydraulic brakes, front lockable suspension and also either 24 or 27 speed. Again, highly dependable on the bike you get. Well, my one, and I, ha and I hate to say, but it's got to be Carrera Vengeance. It's only 350 pound brand new one, but don't forget to keep an eye on places like Facebook, Gumtree, even eBay, you can get much, much better deal. But if you're looking for something to commute from uh, point A to point B, or just to get around the block for some exercises, I believe that's the bike for you. You've got nothing too crazy, 27.5 inch wheels, uh, you've got normal coil suspension, suspension which is not even lockable, and you've got normal cable disc brakes. And with that, he thinks he's got a better list than me. I don't think so. Of course, I would have expected to go with a Vengeance. My second choice would be a good mountain bike again, but this time we're gonna go for a Voodoo. Voodoo, in my opinion, they're quite a good mountain bikes. If you do go and get yourself either a brand new or a second hand one, you won't be disappointed. So you can consider two makes of Voodoo, if you're looking for a hardtail, of course. So you should consider Voodoo Banto or a Voodoo Bizango. They're two very similar, but at the same time, very different bikes. So on one, you'll find 27.5 inch wheels, on the other 29, and also they differ in different specification. The price tag, it's also different between the two. So make sure to sweet to your choice. So he just mentioned I went for Carrera, but he is guys presenting you a more expensive Carrera. <laughs> well, I, what I've got for you as a number two is Scott Aspect. This is a great bike. It's a little bit more advanced. It's a, roughly around 700 pound brand new, but again, keep an eye, you can get a better deal for second hand. What you get for this money is 29, uh, 29 inch wheels. You've got hydraulic brakes, lockable suspension, and it's a uh, really light, very great. You can easily go on the trails and smash everything again you've got to uh, have a bit more knowledge but that is my second choice Martin what will be your third one my third and last and I promise to don't disappoint you it's gonna be a Bodman MHT doesn't matter what number you're gonna get 8.9 9.2 or anything like that you won't be disappointed you'll find either 27.5 or again 29 inch wheels very light frame as that's a Bodman so it's a high spec bike hydraulic brakes as usual front air suspension lockable and also depending on the model you can get one single cock at the front and ten at the back or you can get a two at the front and then nine at the back so highly dependable on how much you can really spend for a bike looking at it brand new you should be considering spending about between thousand to fifteen hundred second hand if you are lucky and consistent then you can potentially find something half of the price. But that is my top of the list and you should definitely consider that. Guys, if you really have that budget, <laughs> please do ignore him, do not buy Boardman. If you want quality UK bike, I will definitely go for white. Uh, and especially 806 V4. That is the newest bike on the market. It's uh, roughly between 1,200 and you've got amazing components. It's one by 11, you've got hydraulic brakes, you've got air suspension. I think it was a rock shock, I'm not entirely sure. You can easily check on Google. Uh, the vision of the bike is really aggressive. It's absolutely amazing. Why would you spend so much money and buy a Boardman? I don't understand that but when you can go for a top quality bike. That would be my best for today. One thing is sure. Doesn't matter if you go for a Boardman or you should go and splash for a white. It just makes sure you go and get yourself the right mountain bike, the one which will be most comfortable for you. If you buy it for yourself, if not, you should consider buying anything you like for someone else as well. Now, we want to thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button if you've got value. See you in, in the, the next, next one. one.